What's good everybody, welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben, I'm a USB-C Silver Certified Coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Arctic Vibe from Hammer. Before we fire this one up, be sure you subscribe to the channel. It's free, it's easy, and it is the best way to help us bring you the best non-biased and cross-band reviews in bowling. So while you're down there, be sure you hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out on the next review. It may look the part, but Hammer fans, I must apologize, this is not a re-release of the old Jigsaw. Instead, Hammer brings us a new hybrid edition in the iconic Vibe series. Powered by the tried and true Vibe Core, this one features the white and purple HK22 CT Max hybrid cover style finished a 1500 compound out of the box. For the layout, I went with a 45 by 45 by 25 2LS layout. This ball felt a lot stronger than I expected as soon as I took it out of the box, so I decided to go with a more benchmark style layout. The 25 inch pin to center of grip distance allows this piece to use most of its core strength without it creating too much angle off the end of the oil pattern. And on the lanes, the Arctic vibe was as loud to the pins as its color scheme is. This piece is going to be a total house shot killer as it uses that weaker core to blend out this oil pattern while also maintaining a good kick off the spot. Honestly, I don't think I could draw up a ball better than this one to be effective on high ratio conditions like this one. And that was my favorite part about throwing this one from Hammer. Some pieces are designed with a sport bowler in mind while others seem to focus on versatility on a multitude of conditions. This Arctic vibe, however, seems like it has the house bowler at the top of its priority list and see Seeing as how that probably describes 90% of us, that seems like a really good way to sell a lot of bowling balls if you ask me. Now on the list of downsides, I do think this one has the potential to be not so great on tougher conditions. It is so good at blending out the cliff on a house shot that when that tapered friction isn't there, the likelihood that this one looks as good as it is here is really low. That's not to say it's not going to be usable on challenge and sport conditions, but the chances of it being the ball that it is on your Tuesday night league is pretty low. However, if you were to pair this one with the all new hammer effect and the Black Widow 3.0, you'd have your bases covered no matter what the lane man put out. The Widow is great on tough conditions, especially when you can keep your angles in front of you. The vibe is likely best once some friction builds up, and then when you have to move in even further, you can throw the effect with the full confidence that it takes to see the best results out of that piece. Now jumping to our cross-brand comparisons, I first took a look at the all-new The Road from Storm, and here I see a piece that is notably cleaner through the middle part of the lane, but with that, more responsive off the end of the oil pattern. If you were to take the road down to a 3000 grit, I think you'd see a pretty similar reaction to the Arctic vibe, and both of those pieces' performance would actually improve as the ball gathers some additional lane shine. Then I took a look at the Hyper Venom from Motive, and here I see a piece that is going to be good in the same part of the lane as the Arctic vibe, but for much different reasons. The Hyper Venom is notably cleaner through the front part and the middle part of the lane, but is still easy off the spot. It achieves a similar path to the pocket to the Arctic vibe, not by blending friction, but rather by flying through it and then allowing the core to tip it towards the 1-3. But with that, here's my recommendations on the types of bowlers that I think would match up well with the Arctic vibe from Hammer. The first is balanced or stroker style bowlers. As much as I loved this ball, I think those that are less rev dominant are going to love it even more. The closer you can play this one to the friction, the better the results are going to be, and those balanced players will love this one in the track area as it controls their ball reaction, but still carries the corners well. The second recommendation is for female bowlers. Typically, women have a lower rev rate and ball speed, so while they may not be rev or speed dominant, transition can be a tough time to carry the corners. The Arctic Vibe will allow these players to make the move to the inside part of the lane without making a high-risk ball change to an angular pearl to get all 10 pins to fall over. The all-new Arctic Vibe from Hammer makes an impressive case to be the one with the most shelf appeal in 2024, but on the lanes, might just be the ticket to freeze out your competition. And you can pick this up today and much more at BowlersParadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Thank you to my friend Ryan Chafransky for the drilling of this piece and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet liked this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for more bowling product reviews. But as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.